All right, take one of the planet Saturn on the evening of July 21st, 22nd from Mount Pinos, California. Have it here through a Mulan 250 telescope and a L3 unfilmed image intensifier, P43 phosphor. Saturn's about an hour, maybe in two hours past the meridian, so it's starting to get low in the sky. We got a nice view of it here. The image intensifier is being attenuated with a narrowband methane filter. 889 nanometer center line, 18 nanometer bandpass. And you get a wickedly weird looking image when you do this because the planetary disk practically disappears and the rings show prominently because we're using this methane band, narrow, narrow band methane filter. So you can see those rings, outer ring, bit of Enkies, inner big wide ring, I don't know what these things are called, and then maybe the innermost ring, and a little bit of on the planet's disk, the equatorial region is glowing some, but the rest of the disk is pretty dim. Um, magnification here is going to be roughly 250 power. I've got a 2-ish X Barlow in the mix. Camera settings are 1 60th of a second. Shutter ISO is 2000. And uh, pretty nice view of Saturn here. Now you're picking up some sparkling because this is the uh, three unfilmed tube which produces a little more gain sparkling than uh, one I was using earlier, a Photonus um, Intense. But the detail might be a little better, mainly because the skies are clearer than they were the last time I tried this weekend ago from the city. This is up high in the mountains where the seeing isn't always great, but it's not too bad tonight. So that's Saturn. Yeah, right, like right now it's bouncing around. But not too bad of a take. Ring structure easily. Funky looking planetary disk and uh, not a bad shot. So all three on film, P43 image intensifier with a narrow band methane. Filter, Takashi Milan 250 telescope, and a Sony Alpha 7S camera. Call that a wrap and maybe try one other camera setting. Real time, 60 frames a second. Okay, that's it.